Um, did they, did this uh, ladies identify with you? Identify with me what? Did they identify the who who they were? Doesn't matter who who I am. No, they, I didn't who break they the law. Are. Oh did yeah, they? they they told me who they were, but okay, I didn't tell them who I am. It doesn't matter who okay. I am. I didn't break any laws, so that nobody's need a... accusing you of breaking any laws. Welcome back to Weedy People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Party Crashers. If you have not subscribed to their YouTube channel, make sure you please go and do so. A CPS worker showing up at your home could be just as scary as police showing up. But one thing I want you to remember is this. You have the same rights as you do when you're encountering law enforcement. If that CPS worker does not have a warrant, or in this case, a court order, you don't have to talk to them and you do not have to let them in your home. About 100% of the time, CPS workers will call the cops when you refuse to let them inside of your home. But like all ways you still have a fifth and a fourth amendment right you do not have to talk to them and you do not have to consent to unreasonable searches and seizures which can be conducted also by a cps worker yes good i'm i'm fine right here all right so uh did these people identify with you why are you shaking man that i don't answer questions okay Um, did, they, did this uh, ladies identify with you? Identify with me what? Did they identify the who, who they were? Doesn't matter who who I am. No, they, I didn't break they the law. Are. Oh did yeah, they, they they told me who they were, but okay, I didn't tell them who I am. It doesn't matter who okay. I am. I didn't break any laws, so that nobody's need a... accusing you of breaking any laws. So do, do, did you understand why they're here? Oh. Right. I'm sorry. They talked to Kim. They talked to their mother. Okay. Can we talk to her? Uh, yeah, you can when she gets back home. How how long is that gonna take? She's at work. At work. Yep. And That's, she took the kids. They were work? they were already explained that she went well, to work. Well, I wasn't here. So. Okay. Well, they were explained that that the mother was going to the work and the kids were going to their friend's house. Okay. And uh, any particular reason why you guys didn't allow them just to check with the kids? Uh, the because they're going home. They're going to their friend's house, and we're not going to... I thought this was their home. This is not their home? They're going to their friend's house. I'll, I'll give you that much. They're going to their friend's house. Okay. Did you understand their presence here? Did they... it, uh, it's not my concern. Are, they, are the children yours? The children are not mine. I'll tell you that much. So it's, it's, it's we need to speak to mom then? Yes, you absolutely need to speak to mother. Okay. At what time is she back? I have no idea. At what time she gets out of work? I have no idea. You don't know what time she gets out of work? No, sir. Okay. Do you know where she works at? I don't answer questions. Thank you. All right. A lot of good that did you guys. What was that? A lot of good that did you guys. So we got an officer that came to the property. What was that? In this car right here, CPS. What was that? I'm I'm narrating. Oh, okay. And a sheriff in car number 072. For this one. And that's Officer Gomez Gonzalez. I believe it's Officer Gonzalez. Correct, and your badge number is because I don't see it anywhere. Eight nine five seven. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Can you identify yourself? Too? No, sir. I don't have no reason to. And there we have it. That's how you do it. 
Don't allow your rights to be violated. I don't care who it is, a cop or a CPS worker, you have rights. So make sure you use your rights because remember, if you don't use them, you will lose them. And if you're trying to learn your rights, I want to help you. Down below is a link to my free ebook. You can also click the link above my head. Make sure you download the ebook. It's going to help you to know what you can and can't do when encountering police and what they can and can't do. Also, if you did not get a chance to register for my online course, Surviving the Police at the Discounted Rate of 50% Off, unfortunately, the sale is now over, but I still have the course at a discounted rate for those who are still interested in registering. My course is definitely going to teach you how to deal with the police and in this case, CPS workers as well. Don't let your rights be violated. With that being said, We the People University, signing off.